All right, I'm gonna bring us to our final presenter today, um, who is Theo Kusters from the Netherlands. Um, he is a performative researcher and designer working on connecting the fields of arts and science. With his projects, he aims to distill big topics to something understandable to argue or agree about. All right, thank you. I'll share my screen here. Just a sec. Are you able to see my screen at the moment? Yes, perfect. All right, so uh, nice to see your, uh, your presentation before because that's also, I'm a designer by, uh, by trade and that was sort of also my starting point in this whole journey of my own performative project. This is how, how do we care about these plants and how do we envision this uh, food production in, in the future? So that was the start of this project um, which I've been doing, it's called body ponics. And I was, how could I get from this idea of creating plants myself or caring for these plants and toiling over them in a sense to this, this sort of futuristic greenhouse in which everything that I grew was on the materials of my own body. So in this journey, I went beyond uh, the, the urine and the reclamation we're talking about here, but I tried to see how can we actually use this human labor or this human production in uh, more ways than one. So I created this big uh, sweatsuit to collect sweat and to harvest that to get some other materials out and to get salt out of in a way. Yes, and it, it, that's the point of it. It's, it's hilarious and it's sort of a, almost a caric caricature of what's, what's happening. I think that's, that is very important. The, the second thing I did is I had this long hair and I shaved it all off to use as an artificial substrate to set the roots in because I was doing this on a hydroponics um, setup to just replace everything, replace the soil, replace the, the nutrients. I even put uh, in the Kratky method, I put my own uh, oxygen and CO2 in to get the air in. So all these materials, they, they contributed to carrying and tending for these plants and growing something and making something useful out of all these uh, body elements. Um, because that, that's my, one of my main themes in this, in this project is we're so used to be, them being the waste and the, the shunned materials. But if you actually assign them a purpose and try to see them as just these production elements, you get to so, so much more and you know all this. So I like this. I, right now the dettol is kind of useful, but short of a national pandemic, if you wash your hands normally, you also get there. So this over cleanliness, this over... Um, aggressiveness on anything that comes off the body. That's something I wanted to tackle. So I created this almost spaceship-like construction, very clean, very isolated to see, okay, what kind of human production can we actually make and how much can we do? Turns out it's much more than this greenhouse can, can hold, but it's not really what could fit in there. But that's that, the nice conversation you can have. If you take one of these humans or one person as a, as a stand-in or as a um, example of what, one human can produce you can start this conversation on a on a level that's very small and understandable to people like i can do this myself this is what my body also produces and that's what i like about using these kind of analogies or creating a performance around it you, there's a bigger theme connected to but if you distill it to just one person what can you do yourself so over the course of about a year i experiment i created this greenhouse and i'm here to tell you hair is not a good substrate to grow um, plants on necessarily. It works, but it's not so great. I would say cocoa peat or something else is better, but that's also, it's trying how far can you set this boundary of my complete body in this uh, greenhouse. And it's funny to reapply this idea of sports and <laughs> sort of being fit and working out and producing for nothing, lifting weights, but then producing it or setting it to this idea of uh, growing crops and uh, harvesting. So yeah, that's what I like. I like to reimagine this as a sort of a techno future and create something for people to um, latch onto. That's why you also have the lights. It's very, you lure them in with this almost uh, technological um, fancy greenhouse, but then it's actually about all the stuff we, we as humans have been doing before and have been doing without any big tech or fluff uh, before. So that's, uh, that's a bit what I'm, uh, I'm doing with my projects and uh, that's where I'll leave the presentation for now uh, in this performance. So uh, thank you. Thank you.